Hey everyone, I'm Brandon from Nagios, and today we're gonna be showing you how to install Nagios XI from source using a Linux machine. XI can be manually installed onto CentOS, Ubuntu, Debian, and RHEL, or Red Hat distributions. Before we get started, I wanna mention that I have two CentOS 8 VMs spun up and ready to go. I have two since there are two installation methods for manual installs. There is a quick installation method and a more manual installation method. I will first walk through the quick installation method. In the command line, you'll just have to put in this command here. And what this will do is download the latest version of XI. It will also install it. If you would like to specify which instance of XI you would like to install, you'll need to navigate to nagios.com, click XI, and go to the alternative downloads page where you can then specify which version of XI you'd like to download. We'll hit enter here, and this will begin installing XI. Now, while this runs, I'm going to switch over to our other virtual machine here. This one has nothing on it yet. This is going to be for our more manual installation. Again, reminder, this is a separate virtual machine from the quick installation. For the manual installation, we'll first need to change directories to the slash TMP directory. So we'll do CD slash TMP. And the next thing we'll need to do is get the latest release of XI. Now, since this is a CentOS 8 machine, CentOS does not have the wget command by default. So make sure you have that command installed. This will download the latest XI tarball. Now that we got the tarball downloaded, we will need to extract it. So we will use this command here. And I just did tab to complete, hit enter. Now that the tarball is extracted, we will need to change directories into the newly created Nagios XI directory. Just like that. And in here, we will need to bash the full install script like so. Now what we're going to do is let these two virtual machines install XI for us. All right, as you can see here, the first virtual machine that we are looking at is the one where we did the quick installation. Right here at the bottom, there is an IP address here. With this install, there won't be any default login credentials. They will just be the credentials of the virtual machine when you set up the Linux box. So what we're going to go ahead and do is navigate to that IP address using our desired web browser. So we will go ahead and open that up and we will go to that IP. Just like before, we'll get an XI screen where we can finish walking through the final installation process. Switching back over, we'll go to our more manual install of XI. Just like before, at the bottom is an IP address provided by XI. And just as stated before, there is not going to be any default login credentials. The credentials will be the credentials of the Linux box when you first set it up. Once again, we can navigate to that IP address in our desired web browser, and we'll be brought to the same page here where we can finish walking through the final installation process of Nagios XI. Now that you have Nagios XI up and running, the next video is going to walk you through some of the most powerful features you can utilize immediately. 